Now we've already met one of the trigonometric identities. That was tan x equals sine x over cos x. It's very important that you remember that. The second trig identity is com well, comes from the unit circle. Now the unit circle is a circle that has radius 1. Okay, so radius 1, 1, that would be at minus 1, minus 1. Okay? Now, if we look at a particular point on the curve, then if we draw a right angle triangle to that point, so that has length 1, okay, the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle has length 1, then if we look at the length of the base of the triangle, then using trigonometry, okay, let's call that angle, well, let's call it theta, not x. Okay, let's call it theta. So if we use trigonometry, basic trigonometry, Sokotoa, for example, then we should know that cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, if the hypotenuse is 1, then actually what we have is that cosine of theta is, a, is the adjacent of divided by 1. So actually, cosine of theta is just the adjacent. So we could write the length, the base, the length of the base of the triangle as cos theta. In a similar way, sine theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse using Sokotoa. But if the hypotenuse is 1, then sine theta is the opposite over 1 divided by 1. But the opposite divided by 1 is just the opposite. So the opposite side, the height of the triangle, will just be sine of theta. So in other words, if theta was uh, 30 degrees, then the base of the triangle is cos of 30, and the height of the triangle is sine of 30. Now, that means that if this is true, then using Pythagoras, the square of the sum of the squares of the two other sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. In other words, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Okay? So this is the second trig identity that we must know how to use. And it's a very important one which will keep coming back to us. Now notice how we write sine squared theta rather than sine theta squared. Because that could get confused with sine of theta squared, which is a whole different ballgame. Okay, so the squared gets put between the sine and the theta. Okay, like so. So sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. This is the trig identity that we're going to be using in the next few videos.